everyone and welcome back to my channel today my mom is going to be making this yummy and healthy rava samosa instead of using uh, all-purpose flour or any kind of flour we'll be using rava which is a healthy version and an easier version i know you're hungry right now this video is for you today we are going to make rava samosa the ingredients are a half cup of rava or in English, it's called suji, and we need the required amount of salt and one teaspoon of cooking oil. For the stuffing, we will be needing two cooked and smashed potatoes, one third cup of peas, one half cup of carrots, some turmeric powder, chili powder, and coriander powder. These three you can add more or less if you want. We need chaat masala, a drain powder, and some coriander leaves and you need some garam masala those are the ingredients for this samosa this one it's normal upma rava we need some more fine powder so i'm going to add it in the blender i'm going to grind but don't make it very fine powder little bit you have to be feel the crunches now i am transferring the rava mixture into the bowl you can see it's not a fine powder it's little crumbs will be there then add required amount of salt one teaspoon of oil mix it well you can feel the crumbs now you can see that it is crumbled at this stage we are going to add a little bit of water and mix well we need to make our dough is little bit loose because the suji will absorb the water. Knead the dough for 2-3 to three minutes and then cover it with a lid and keep it aside for 10 minutes. And now in a saucepan, we're going to add 1 tablespoon of oil. And then we're going to add our chopped carrots. And salt for a few minutes. Make sure that you don't fry it way too soft because we need that crunchiness and we're going to deep fry the samosa. And now we're going to add one third cup of green peas. Frozen green peas and mix well. Note that we're using frozen peas. You can use normal or frozen if you want. And these vegetables are optional. You can add any vegetables that you like. We have added two boiled mashed potatoes and we're going to mix. Now we're going to add our spices. One teaspoon of chili powder, half teaspoon of coriander powder, and a fourth teaspoon of turmeric powder, and garam masala, and some cumin powder. And Chat masala, and now I'm gonna add some chat masala. And required amount of salt, and mix well. Mash the potatoes well, and cook for five minutes. And now our masala is ready. We're going to add the chopped coriander leaves, and turn off the flame, and mix for and now our masala is ready. Before we're going to make the samosa, make sure that your stuffing is cooled completely. Before you make your samosa, make sure that you have enough oil for deep fry and keep the stove on. And now we're going to take a medium sized ball and dust it in the wheat flour. And we roll. a small chapati and then cut it into half and now with one hand dip your finger in, in plain water and then put some water on the edges and then we're going to seal the samosa 
now we have sealed our samosa and then our pocket is ready. And now our pocket is ready. Make sure you seal it properly. And now we're going to add our stuffing. And then seal the samosa with water. Now our samosa is ready. In the same way, we're going to make one more. And now our oil is ready. We're going to add our samosa and fry. Make sure you keep it in a low flame. Fry the samosa until it's golden brown. Now our samosa is ready. In the same way, we're going to make more. And now our yummy and healthy rava samosa is ready. You can eat with tea or you can eat it as an evening snack. Thank you guys for watching and if you like it, make sure you like and share with other people so they can enjoy the same taste that you had. And make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified every time I make a video. Thank you guys. Stay safe. Peace.